Hello everyone, welcome to another mobile review video of my channel. Today I am going to discuss about leaked new Nokia 8, and its awesome features. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button for my videos like this. So, let's start. Nokia's long-awaited Android flagship is now official, and there's a lot to like. Instead of design superiority, HMD is offering some camera tricks. This is the first Nokia-branded Android phone to feature Zeiss optics on the front and rear cameras. Both are 13 megapixel sensors, with a dual camera array at the rear that also includes a monochrome camera. HMD isn't customizing their camera software very heavily here, but it has added what it calls a buffy mode. The buffing mode is similar to what we've seen Samsung and LG do in the past, and it will activate both the front and rear cameras to capture photos or video. Ultimately it's a camera gimmick, especially with the Bothy naming, but it could prove popular for sports scenarios or even people attending and streaming protests. The phone is powered by the Snapdragon 835 and features 4GB of RAM, along with 64GB of storage and a microSD slot. The phone packs 64GB of internal storage that can be expanded up to 256GB via a microSD card. The Nokia 8 runs Android 7.1.1 and is powered by a 3090M non-removal battery. The Nokia 8 is a dual SIM, GSM and GSM smartphone that accepts Nano SIM and Nano SIM. But HMD is sticking with capacitive keys and larger display bezels despite an emerging industry trend to slim bezels down and move the fingerprint sensor to the rear. In terms of design, the Nokia 8 is slim at 7.3mm on average across its curved frame. And it places the antennas at the top and bottom with a full aluminium back like we've seen from Meizu, Apple, and even OnePlus slash Oppo. There are glossy blue and copper colors, and matte blue and gray options too. During a brief closer look at the handset, I personally prefer the matte colors. HMD's Nokia 8 joins the existing mid-range Nokia 6, Nokia 5, and Nokia 3 devices as the flagship handset in the range. It will go on sale across Europe in September priced at €599, Euros, $705, but it's not clear if this handset will reach US shores like the Nokia 6 did.